Spiritually, you're back with another reading. This reading is for the collective. Um, I heard the channel song I got was uh, Earned It by The Weeknd. You make it look like it's magic. Mm -hmm. So, collective, you got people like, what is going on with this new person? Who is this? Where this person came from? But you earned it. You earned the recognition. You earned the shine. You earned people and the kudos. So let's see what we get here. To my angels, my gods, my ascended masters, the divine, the universe, the higher power, Archangel Michael, Raphael, Jophiel, Gabriel, Uriel, Metatron, Azrael, and to my ancestors that love and care for me and want the best for me. Please and thank you for the clear, precise, accurate messages that I need to deliver to the collective at this time. Let's get it. All right, let's see. People might think you did some damn magic. <laughs> They're like, how the hell this person ain't falling all them potholes we set for them? Nah, you gracefully leaped over them bitches. See, look. True. Queen of Wands energy, yeah, you are fine. Divine Feminine and Star. All right, so we got a Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine here that is just fine as hell. Like the glow up. Oh my God, it is something. We got Wish Fulfillment with the Star here. I'm going to use this new deck. Uh, it has a little bit of nudity on it, so just... I just want to fill it out a little bit. So let's see what we do. Whoa, they like, maybe you don't need to use that. This is the 18 and plus deck here right now. <laughs> right here, but I'll, I'll be using it. Let's see. Yeah, you are in your queen of wands. Even if I'm talking to a man, you're in your queen of wands energy. Or you could be in a king of wands energy. And you have a, um, and you're a divine masculine. Um, we have the Eight of Swords here, the Two of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So, it looks like you might have been stuck for a minute with the Eight of Swords. And for some reason, people were just shocked that you was able to juggle, excuse me, a lot with the Two of Pentacles plant seeds and then now you have offers coming in um opportunity there's an owl up here so i feel like you strategically outbeat these motherfuckers they was playing checkers and you was playing chess and they just like i just don't understand how this person did this and they look fine while they doing it it's your beauty is not your booty is what I heard. So somebody <laughs> could have a, a nice rear end. Um, but we have the eight of wands. Now look, the eight of wands. Now people want to talk to you. Now they want to be in your essence. They want to be in your energy. Um, and the three of wands is here. But they wasn't with you when you were shooting in the gym. They wasn't around. These are people that wasn't around or just preyed on your downfall. And now they can't do nothing but respect you because the endings that they probably sent towards you with some type of spell work or some shit or evil eye, mm -mm, it didn't work. It actually pushed you to new beginnings, yeah? Every time with the Eight of Pentacles working hard, every time you got hit with some type of obstacle, blockage, delay, it just made you work harder and become stronger. Yeah, that's all it did for you. It didn't really affect you in the way they wanted it to. And with the star card, you still have wish fulfillment coming in. Um, that could be in the form of a person. Since we have divine feminine, it could be your divine masculine ancestor. That's too many. Um, or it could be just wish fulfillment in other areas we have the judgment card there are people here wrapped up like mummies i feel like not to compare to you but these people look terrible i'm sorry <laughs> with the mummy they could have been they could have lost weight the people that was praying on your downfall they could um 
look almost dead here. Like this, this person is really pale. Somebody could be sick. High priestess, yeah. I feel like these people didn't know you were a high priest or a high priestess here. So they really underestimated you. The page of cups, and now they want to come in with the apology. And it's like, for what? Right? Knight of cups, rewards. Yeah, these people might want to be in your energy. They feel like you're being blessed at this time. Don't let these damn people back in your life. Whoever these damn people are. Um, it's giving me peasant energy. Like, people want to just be in around be I don't know get your like approval or they want your admiration for them or I don't know this shit is weird the four swords are you on guard you like if any of these people try to come back towards me you sleeping with protection with your sword up you might have known with the high priestess and high priest energy that these people were going to come back around once you stepped into who you truly are. With the true card, a true queen of wands or king of wands energy. You probably knew this was coming. And because you knew that was coming, you sleeping with one eye open like, yeah. They might be trying to connect to you in your dreams. So you're kind of on guard. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not liking that. Sleeping with the sword. And people interfering in your dreams. I don't like that. I don't like when people, when they can't connect with you in the 3D. So they be sneaky about trying to come in your dreams and shit. I don't like that. I, don't, I really think that's some um, invading somebody's privacy. I don't, I don't like it. We have 4-4 four, four here. Look that up. We got the 6 of Wands. Yeah, they want to praise you. Look at this shit. <laughs> Some people actually think you do magic because they just don't understand how you keep defeating what they're sending towards you. It's like, I don't know. They just, they don't understand. It's like, it's it has to be something other than what we see with our two eyes going on here for this to be happening for you. They're like, it, it has to be some type of spell work that you're doing or um, some type of magic, something dark to help you get your blessings. It And it's, it's just you stepped into your power and you're being blessed for, like I said, every time something came up against you, you just worked harder to get past it or over it. So I don't, we got the fool in reverse here. And you're not afraid to take a leap of faith towards things. These are people that are scared of change. So, of course, you're not going to grow if you're scared of change. You have to change certain things to go up certain like levels in life. If you stay the same, there's no growth. So, if you're afraid to take a leap of faith, that's not the collective's problem. They out here stomping with the big dogs. We got the queen of pentacles here. You might, we got white rabbits here. That's giving me that Us movie. I don't know. I'm getting like a weird vibe from this reading. It's like some, some, some behind the scenes shit's going, shit going on. It could be like a doppelganger because that's what that movie was like. So you could have somebody that's. They didn't call them that in that movie. What did they call them damn people? It was like light and dark. It was like the light side of a person and the dark side of them. There's somebody that's trying to copy you here. There's like a copycat. It could be a karmic energy because I did see ex-lover in the deck when I was shuffling. Somebody they're attached to, one of your exes, is trying to um, mimic you. It's some weird shit here. We have the Knight of Swords. Um, what's this Knight of Swords? 
the lovers yeah there's a there's an ex that wants to come towards you swiftly and quickly as hell abruptly like they want to just drop everything and come towards you and the person they're with because they know that they're trying to mimic you it's doppelganger type energy but they're like the evil it's it's so weird i can't really explain it just look it up <laughs> It's like almost like single white female type energy. Us. It's like us. This is the vibe I'm getting from this reading. We have the lovers here. Watch. Ignore the titties, please. <laughs> but yeah, you got past people that have people they're attached to trying to mimic you. They have vines wrapped around them. I don't, I don't know, y'all. We have the knight, King of Pentacles. Yeah, you have a um a partner um coming towards you. It's a King of Pentacles energy. Mm, he's something. He don't even want his feet to touch the ground. He like, uh mm huh. -hmm, I'm too clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I'm just so fresh and clean. You got somebody that dresses very well coming towards you. After heartbreak. But I feel like that's other people's energy. And this person is a hierophant. So you got somebody equally yoked coming towards you. Um, their mentality is someone like somewhat like yours. Um so this is someone you're definitely aligned with here. Um, let's see what else we get. The seven of wands. Yeah, you might find yourself fending off advances from past people. Because you got people that are like in awe with you now. Because, yeah, they want these people want commitment. We have the four of wands here. I told you there's a specific ex that wants to drop everything and come towards you. Yep, and give to you. Look at the damn six of cups. This could be like a childhood sweetheart. Not somebody that you've been with. This is a different energy. This is somebody from your past past that wants to connect with you. And then look at the two birds in the tree. Oh. This could be that King of Queen of Pentacles energy. That could be your divine um, partner that's coming towards you. And it's somebody from your past past. Like high school, middle school type energy. Um, yeah, because I just heard, I need me around the way, girl. Was that it? With LL Cool J? Just the one for me. She's the only. Remember they had the big door knockers back then then. So you got to be like around my age and like your 40s for that back then or late 30s. Uh, maybe a little later. But yeah, it's, it's somebody from back when they see you as their happiness. Somebody wants to rekin like rekindle with you. There's butterflies here. So there's transformation. There's sunflowers. Somebody might like sunflowers or have like a bu like a butterfly tattoo. Look at the bottom. Ten of cups. Oh my God. Somebody might have a rainbow. Rainbow. Somebody might be like, that's my boo right there. Um, a rainbow tattoo. But it's justice. The scales are being balanced here. So for people that tried to set fucking traps for you to fail and now they're just like looking at you like a god or goddess because you you escaped everything they set for you to fail. Those people, the karmic justice with them is to see how you are now. To see that they help you transform. They those everything they sent at you made you stronger. You had moments of weakness, yes. But overall, it made you work on yourself. It helped you glow up. It made you set boundaries and standards for people. 
It made you have the gift of discernment because you're in the high priestess energy or high priest. Um, look, oh my God, all these damn cards fell, but the top card is the goddamn two of cups. This is beautiful. <laughs> these people, woo-wee. You earned this. Now I see why I heard that song. We confirmation. We got the three of pentacles here. This symbolism here. Um, this card gives me cult vibes. Ritual vibes. There's candles on the floor. They're painting on the wall. The, the stars in the window. It just gives me the pattern on the floor. It just when I first saw this card, I was like, I don't I don't like that card in this deck. It gives me rituals. Colt Coven. Coven, I'm sorry. It mm -mm. more on this three of pentacles. wish fulfillment i feel like these are people trying to stop your wish fulfillment or slow it up with the knight of pentacles so while you have your admirers people that were haters that turned fans you could still got haters here and then we have the four of pentacles people that you left out in the cold or feel shunned by you or ignored. These it might be people that is homeless at this time. That's giving me homeless vibes. Somebody could be sick, or they got in like a car accident or something, or some type of injury. You see how he's bandaged up. And then there's somebody sleeping on the ground by a church. Yeah, this is giving me. People life just went downhill for fucking with you, period. That's what it is. We have the chariot here. Something's coming in fast. Seven of swords here. I feel like you took back what was, you went and got back what was taken from you. Like, I feel like things are being returned to you that was taken. Yeah, we got the magician. I feel like you... I'm sorry, y'all. I got to look at these cards because this is like my first time, second time using this deck. I think third. But some of these cards I've never seen. The magician... I'm sorry, my baby playing in the game. Um, There's a feather here. So you might be seeing white feathers. Um, but I feel like you manifested everything back to you that you lost. Um, Knight of Wands on the bottom. And these people have to watch you get back everything, every damn thing they thought they took from you. And then some. Temperance, yep. Yeah. There's the Earth Angel here. Your third eye is open. There's a symbol on her third eye. Um, halo. There's a halo around her. You're, I'm talking to a sweetheart here, and it's just people that's out for blood with you, and it's because they can't be in your, they can't be in your type of energy, and it bothers them. It triggers them too. It's like, why she thinks she better than us? I don't know why I heard that. Like, who he think he is? Like, why Why they got that? Why people like them? It's, it's stuff like that. I had to say what I was hearing. I'm sorry. Um, We have the Eight of Cups. There's blood coming out these cups, and they're crushed. You, these are the people that hurt you and you had to eventually walk away from these people. I feel like some of these situations, you didn't even get closure. You don't know why people, certain people treated you the way they did. 
Nine of Wands. You put them burdens down. You said the hell with these people. Whoever's supposed to be in my life is going to be in my life. And who isn't? Good riddance. Ace of Wands in reverse. Yeah, whoever's not passionate about you. This is giving me hell vibes. Why is the hand coming out the ground with the fire? I mean, I know it's the Ace of Wands, but... Some of these people, mm -mm, I don't know. Knight of Wands. Mm. These are people that might have looked at you as just fun. Um, looked at you for intimacy. And now they're realizing, like, they really misjudged you. Because I feel like you're very attractive. So people look at you in a certain way. But um, people are starting to realize they got to look beyond the surface. They can't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, you're proving that to people. We have the five of cups and now they're crying over spilled milk with blood. This blood stuff is... It's, this is giving me rituals. I'm sorry. There's some type of... Satanics, y'all know my pronunciation. <laughs> Satanic type shit going on here. People might have tried to sacrifice you. I'm getting that vibe from this deck. We have the Empress. It's something with, and there's Siren. There's something with people, some people trying to almost take your life from you. Like, it's deeper than destiny swap. It's like, it's probably death spells here. We have the page of pentacles. See? We have the page of pentacles and the three of cups. There's pumpkins here. Somebody's nickname could be pumpkin. Or someone likes Halloween. Mm. That's giving me rituals. You know what? I, I don't know what to say here. I got to pull my other deck. Um, I don't know why I said that Halloween shit. But it's giving me ritual sacrifice shit. In the back of this card, page four of pentacles, we got bats here. Coming for blood. That's what I'm saying. These people was coming from blood. And there's a rat here. The four of pentacles. This person stepping on a pentacle. It's like people just stepped all over you and didn't consider you your feelings and breadcrumbed and didn't give you what you deserve. Look like looked at you like you was beneath them. Like these people. Five of Wands. Now they got all this conflict and shit going on around them. That is the ugliest man. <laughs> oh my God! I said these people don't look right no more. Look at these people. It's like you stepped into your beauty and 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 just being handsome. You already were, but now you like, I don't know what you done did, but the glow up is magnificent. And these people, it's like, as you look better, they look worse. Somebody could be losing their hair. Wherever they're at is conflict and competition between. If it's a coven here or some type of cold shit, now they at each other's neck. Because it's like they couldn't fulfill what they was trying to do with you. We have the Ace of Swords here. It's true. And you will get clarity. There's an eye here on the sword. You have some type of clarity coming towards you about a Ten of Pentacles situation. There's stability and love and happiness coming to you in divine timing with the Hermit card. The more and more you work on yourself with 
If, this, if these things didn't come in yet, they're coming to you. This is the year of karma and balance here. So people that were down here are going to go above the people that were up here. Those people are going to drop down. If they did any grimy, dirty um, things they weren't supposed to do, they, this is the year that people are paying for it. P people are being exposed. It's, it's crazy. Um, but... If it's not as deep as a coven or a coat here, it could just be people that just wanted endings for you. And that was starting to manifest in your life. I don't know if you had a period in your life where things were just going bad. And you're like, what in the hell is going on here? It's energy. Yeah, I'm getting dizzy. It's spell work here. Um, we have the six of pentacles. You see what I said with the peasant energy? Look how the ladies kind of like begging for money some of these people are going through it we have the nine of swords here this is what i mean about the coming in your dreams and i feel like it's it's trespassing it's it's not something people are supposed to do now if you dream about somebody and you just dream about them that's one thing but if somebody is actually astro projecting into your dreams or just it's people that you know you don't really think about and they're just showing up in your dreams it's a reason for that it's stuff hidden that you need to know about with the moon card it's it's messages in your dreams don't ignore your dreams if you remember your dreams it's a message and it might be a dream that's all over the place but in some you might have to sit down and write down what you dreamed about so you can try to decipher what message is being sent to you um, yeah, with the wolves howling, it's like they're trying to, like your spirit family is trying to show you in your dreams, like what people are trying to do to you or the real form of people. They're trying to expose people and things in your dreams. Yeah, so you can put burdens down with the Ten of Wands because it could be you needing to protect yourself from certain people. And that will help you put burdens down if you have to distance yourself from people. Yeah, it's like with the two of swords, a wall being pulled over your head. So just be, just use discernment with people. Especially people coming towards you, trying to rekindle with the ace of cups. And it's because you have a, a glow up. Look at them legs. All right, now don't hurt nobody, collective. <laughs> Oh my God, her hair is flowing. And she has a sunflower. Yeah, somebody might like sunflowers. So um, just be careful because there's some hidden shit going on with people coming back towards you. They want to be in your, they want you to be in your good graces. Um, they need just a little piece of your energy. It's so like, it's so beautiful and, and full of color and high vibrational. And you got these leeches that just want a little bit. Like coming for blood is what I feel. Um, let me, oh, let me get my white deck here. All right. Ancestors and Neom, can you tell me what is going on here with these people trying to come back around or what the collective needs to know at this time? What's the T on anything they need to know at this time? Oh, they might be quiet. Maybe I need to pick. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to do a couple more shuffles. Nothing come out. I'm going to just pick. Mm. Okay, something flipped. So we could have a Virgo here. You could be a Virgo. It is a Virgo in a scenario. Um, <clears throat> we have travel. You could have a Virgo coming towards you. Um, we have taken... Capricorn. Um, you could have a Virgo that's in a relationship with a Capricorn coming towards you, saying they're going to commit. I don't know. I saw sincere and genuine. 
We have a Sagittarius here. We have friend and use discernment. We could have a Sagittarius friend you need to use discernment with. We also have a Virgo that's with a Capricorn that might be trying to commit to you. Remember I said there's people that's willing to drop everything and come towards you. So just be careful with these energies we have. Yeah, these people are going through karma. Some of them are sick. <clears throat> um, some are sick. Some are homeless. They're like sleeping on people's couches or jumping from house to house. Um, walk away. Yeah. We got time frames here. We got 1 to 10 days, weeks, 20 to 30 days. 20 to 30 days here or weeks. Um, you got a array of people coming towards you. We have a, some of these options are false. Um, yeah, we have these people might act like they're single and ready to mingle, but they're non committal. Um, it's like your light is a like a you got moths coming towards you. Yes, there's a past on loved one here that's sending you a lover, that's sending a person towards you. But then you have a cheater that's gonna come back about wanting to settle down with you. This is crazy. I'm telling you, I don't I don't like the energies I'm getting from this reading. Um, we have your spirit animal here. We have justice and Libra. We have double Libra here that's coming towards you with the Ace of Cups. That's going to offer love. This is a new person here. Um, we have Taurus. There's a Taurus coming towards you. There's going to be a Taurus. Well, there's a Taurus that's um, experiencing a Tarot moment for black magic here. Arc, archangels are here. They handling this Taurus. We have a ex lover here. That's a soulmate. This person is doing sex magic, or a third party is doing sex magic on this person. But there's love here. This person loves you. The wheel is going to turn, but it's still going to be an ending here with the Scorpio card. So this person, there's an ex-lover here that has love for you, but they're under some, they're under sex magic. A third party is doing magic on this person. So even if they come towards you being sincere, which they would be because they love you, there's a third party doing magic on this person. So it's going to still cause an ending here. This will make this person be in and out, cold and hot and cold with you. And it's because of magic being done to this person. What is going on? Anything else here? Lord have mercy. Oh my God, I just saw love spells. Anything else here for the collective? All right, we got money here. Empress. So you're, there's some creative idea you have that could bring some money towards you. Um, Cause you're the Empress, so you give birth to ideas. So there's some type of idea that you have that um, can bring some finances in for you. I just saw the King of Pentacles. Um, we got maybe. What the hell? Let me see. What's this maybe? Because I just saw sincere, genuine, and then the devil. That don't go together. So maybe a Queen of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio is coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles idea. So this is somebody coming towards you that wants to, I feel, invest in your idea that you might have. Or if you have a business, you have an energy coming towards you that's interested in it. Like maybe being contributing to it. What is this? This 
person is a damn liar. God damn it. <laughs> this person is going to lie about money. So this person is going to act like they want to contribute to your business. And they're lying. Ancestors are here for this person. I just can't. The collector just don't get a break, I tell you. Just don't get a damn break. You do have a King of Pentacles coming towards you. So let me try to get something on this King of Pentacles. It's an option. I can even put burden down. Who's this King of or Queen of Pentacles energy for the collective? It's a soulmate. Lovers. This person might be slow to give to you. Let's see here. Let me see what's the next card. Oh, no. This person wants an Ace of Cups with you. This person is willing to prove their love to you. Um, they want to prove themselves to you. So they're going to be... Yeah, they see your energy as angel. They see you for the earth angel that you are. We have three of cups. They want to celebrate with you like all these other damn people. But the, at least they're coming with something with the Ace of Pentacles. They see you as the Queen of Pentacles. So this is a King of Pentacles energy. Even if it's a woman, she's coming towards a man in the collective as... um. I'm saying it wrong. It's a queen of pentacles energy. So for the women, if there's a king of pen, if there's a man coming towards you, he's still in the queen of pentacles energy or he sees you as the queen of pentacles. Um, if I'm talking to a man, you have a queen of pentacles coming towards you. But there's like conflict and competition and drama from people that you blocked out here that you're no longer in communication with because these people want your time and, and, and energy they want your attention look how the person the little boy is waving like me and then let me see what else the other people are just standing there watching it's like it's it's your energy people are just drawn to it at this time you're very attractive to people at this time. Confirmation. We have the four of wands. Yeah, these are people that want to commit. They see you as wish fulfillment, but you don't do backsies. So this is uh, people that you're going to continue to have your back towards. They just could watch you, your nice ass as you walk away because... <laughs> You're not doing no backseas. Unless it's that person that's the childhood sweetheart. That's different. Like, I don't feel like you even was in a connection with that person. It might have just been some crush stuff. And this person sees you as happiness. But we have the devil here. Yeah, you turned your back on these energies. And they're fiending after trying to set traps for you or goddamn sacrifice you in some way now they want to be in your energy now they love you with the king of cups now they have love for you i ain't got nothing but love for you baby i got nothing but love for you honey it's your independence it's it's a whole bunch of stuff and it's because you don't want them no more now they want you even more with the world card Yeah, look, this is how you look to people with the Hierophant. Look at the sparkles and the and the light and the golden glow. Y'all chill out. You look like abundance, prosperity, pinnacles to these people. And it's past people with the Six of Cups. They're in despair. Because you put an end to whatever type of relationship or friendship you have with these people. And now, my nose, now they see your strength. Like I said, they can't believe all that backstabbing, deceiving, and betrayal that they put you through did not change you. It changed you into a better person. They, they can't get over it. They just can't understand why the knives are not, the swords are not fully in your back. And that's your spirit team that kept this from happening and it going in the way they wanted it to. And now they on these people's ass too. 
page of wands here. There's two cardinals here. I don't know why I thought I saw a snake on his back. That's something else, but these people are snakes. They tried to snake you in some way in the past. And we did see a rat earlier. Yeah, because you're being rewarded with the Knight of Cups. And you're in an Empress energy. Things are coming to life because of your energy. Again, we have the rabbits. We got butterflies again. And we have a deer here. You could be drawn to animals. Or animals like take to you. Um, you planted seeds and worked hard with the um, seven and eight of pentacles here. Like you worked hard to get where you are. All them booby traps and bombs and shit they set for you, that shit didn't touch you. If it did, it was temporary. It wasn't destructive to your life. And if it was destructive, you still got through it. The nine of swords here. We got seven, eight, nine. Seven of pentacles, eight of pentacles, nine of swords. Look that up. I've been seeing that a lot lately too. Um, we have the emperor and justice. So when your counterpart comes in, oh my God, all hell gonna break loose. Then. Look at the gold, like it's, your relationship is going to be a royalty here. High ranking. Your relationship is going to balance the karmic scales here. Once you get with your counterpart, that's when all hell like is really going to break loose. These people watching you are going to wind up praying for another opportunity to be with you. It's not coming. The high priestess and the death card. I wish upon a star mm, 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 to follow where you are. I wish on all the rainbows that I see. Growth and summer. This is bad. Truth and expression. Well. If anybody gets to be in your beautiful energy, you just going to hand them the truth and send them on their way. You're going to give them the business and they just going to cower away. They just going to go about their business. So maybe some people do need to come towards you and feel the wrath since you changed and um, have courage here to speak your truth. They might need it. You might wear black, a lot of black. Yeah, self-love, creation, and intentions. Something which something you're supposed to be creating here and bringing to life. We have sun empowerment and strength. We have contract, career, and commitments in reverse. Yeah, there will be no committing to any of these people. There will be no working with any of these people's contract voided with these people. It's over. They have to watch you from afar. If they can see you with all that glowing, all that um bright ass energy coming from you. You blinding these people. Release, surrender, and purge. They just got to let you go. Higher self-activation. Yep. And they better not play with you. Because all this damn energy swirling around here. I don't know. They better just leave you alone. Yeah. As I say, leave you alone. You got assistance and spirit gods. Seeds in spring. Yeah, they couldn't stop you from planting the seeds that you needed to plant. Trust in divine time and these mofos will be handled. Twin flame? Oh my God, we've been getting that a lot. There's a lot of twin flames coming into union or reconciling at this time. Yep, after separation and longing for each other. That could be that childhood sweetheart that I was talking about. 
Don't you never have me spit and I'm all excited. What? Yup, remember and awakening. Y'all gonna get together. Whoever gets together with a child of sweetheart, y'all got so much to talk about. Yup, look, reunion and soul time. I'm done. <laughs> Transformation in Pluto. You both transform. Oh my God. This is like a, a fairy tale. Oh my goodness. Some of y'all are getting an old person. Like somebody from when you were kids. There's a distorted ass air sign here. A Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's a distorted king or queen of swords energy. And that's bad. This person is losing themselves. You see how, like, the back of this person is, like, puzzles and, I don't know, like, they're losing themselves. I think it's because they watching what's going on with you, yeah? They know it's no wish fulfillment coming with you. This person is going through it. That ear sign? Mm -mm. Yeah, because you stepping all over. You are stomping with the big dogs. They're, this person's control tactics didn't work. And now there's divine intervention, fate, and detours for this person. Every path they take, they get hit with a roadblock. Mm. We have offer here. Present, abundant, and gratitude. Yeah, you're just living in the moment. Forming, structure, and solid foundation. Yep. We started from the ground. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. You're building a, a foundation from the ground up. So you know how to place them bricks where it's going to be stable and nothing could break it. It can't be crumbled with a tower because you're strategically placing the bricks where it needs to go to make everything stay solid for you. Confusion and illusions. Well, that's not penetrating nothing. We got karma, balance, and justice here. Mm. This is beautiful, besides all the other buffoonery that's going on. This is, ancestors, come on now. Wait, y'all made 50 cards fall out. We have, this is in reverse, chemistry and passion in reverse. Yeah, you don't have any passion for these past people, even if they come with an apology and forgiveness. If you take the apology, that does not mean you want them back in your life. So you made a decision on third parties that um, is their worst fear. And that's you completely releasing them. These people still are holding on to hope that they could still rekindle with you. So once they come in and you deliver that tower moment, it's going to hurt a lot of people. Oh, well, we have facade and beliefs here because these people played with you. And as I say, play with you, deception and temptation fell on the floor. So, I, I mean, facade and deception and temptation, these people got to be kidding me. And they think they're about to come back around you. Like, third eye and clarity. You got all the information that you needed on these fake ass people, these deceptive people and devil energy. Like you see through the BS even with one eye covered. Like you see through the yeah, and then you got your ancestors here. Like these people playing with the wrong person. Mercury, messages, travel, and communication. They're going to come towards you with some type of communication. It's masculine energies of women that are very manly here. Um, they're more in their masculine energy than feminine. Um, there's a earth sign here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
shadow side, moon and the dark night of the soul. There's an earth sign that's still in their shadow side. And they're coming to you with some expectation here. These people feel like you owe them something. This earth sign feels like you owe them something. But of course, they're still in their shadow side. They're going to get hit with a damn towel. I can't. My ancestors are funny. <laughs> they're going to regret they even came back around to you. Once you hit them with that tower and they get rejected and feel lost and fragmented. This, this earth sign is dark. Look at the cards that came after the earth sign. Mm -mm. Definitely stay away from this earth sign, whoever this is. And then look at in the dark. You can't even see this person's face. This person might use their body to get what they want. Because all you see is the uh, six pack. Everything in the arms, the chisel arms. This person, mm -mm, that earth sign, they're dark. And they're watching you, spying, um, inspecting. Something with harvest with your energy. This could be the one doing that fucking spell work. And they're in their pride and ego here. Still all dark cards. Was that my crows? I thought I heard them screaming. As I said, they use their body. Attraction, Mars, and hot. They use, this person use their body to get what they want. It just, it ain't working with you. Because you got the epiphany that this person ain't shit, regardless of what they trying to come towards you with. We got Aries Leo Sag here. Distance, time out, retreat. There's a fire sign that you need to distance yourself from. And your ancestors and spirit family is communicating again through your dreams, giving you messages about this air, this fire sign here. This person is suffering from some lack or some past energy. They're isolated and thinking. This, this person could be a little dangerous here. Because they're isolating themselves and trying to come up with some plan to come towards you. I don't like the feeling I'm getting from that fire sign. Cycles closed and completion. Where I get closed from? Cycles change and completion. Comfort zone, south node and clinging, guilt and sabotage. This um fire sign is severely depressed. I feel like this person could like break at like any moment. Yeah, look, avoidance and stalemate. Avoid this fire sign. I don't like their energy. Let me get about can I have please five cards from here? I heard six. Oh my God, ancestors. Why? Two more, please. Why are they flipping them cards? <laughs> we got patience. It's something with that fire sign, I'm telling you. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Indecision. Friendship. Forgiveness. I think I spoke of a friend with them white cards. There's a friend that wants your forgiveness. We have peace and empathy. I feel like you're just protecting your peace at this time. And you still have empathy for others, but not none of these damn past people. I feel like you're sick of these people. Let me get, I'm going to get like five more. Is that? What, what, hold on there. That's six. Can I have six more ancestors? Five. Four. Three. One more. No, they gave me an extra one. So we have self-esteem. I possess the gifts of soul that benefit me and others. So yeah, your confidence, I'm telling you, your glow up, and this card is yellow. It's giving me golden, though. Um, 
your self-esteem is attracting a lot of people. Your glow up and I don't know. It's something about your walk too. Um, I don't know. I'm getting seductive. Not purposely, but and if I'm talking to a man, your bop is attractive to people. We have adversity, yeah. You went up against a lot of adversity, judgment, and people judging you in a harsh way. Discipline, but you stay disciplined. And like I said, them blockages, delays, roadblocks, you just went right over them or through them. Um, perseverance here, yep. Yeah. Just what I was speaking of. Growth. These people wanted to stop your growth. It's in reverse. and Or these are people that haven't grown in no way. Um, we have trust here. Trust and believe wish fulfillment is coming for you. And that's the main thing that people don't understand too. It's about faith and trust in your um, in the divine and higher power, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. It's that trust and faith specifically in yourself, trusting in yourself and having faith and hope in yourself and um, your spirit family. When they know you believe in them, they will, they will go to bat for you. They know that sometimes you got to ask them for help though, because they don't want, you have free will, so they don't always want to step in. Um... If you don't, if you're a person that don't believe in ancestors, spirit guides, angels, um, arc, arc angels, ascendant master, if you don't believe in things like that, just you believing in yourself and knowing that you're going to get what you deserve, that helps you manifest. Staying positive, even when you was going through things, knowing, oh my God, this is going to get better. I'm at the damn bottom, so I know I got to go up. Things can